Sure Needles Podcast. Yay! Yay! Episode 42. Episode 42. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Let's start at the top and say this is the knitting podcast. Yes, we we're going to do that this time. We knit on this podcast. <laughs> we're two best friends from Central Arkansas, and we are going to show you our knitting today. Yay! So if you're new here, hello, have a seat, grab a drink. Let's let's do this. What are you drinking? I'm drinking a pumpkin, ah, pumpkin um, spice cold foam cold brew, but I made it at home. Yeah, I'm drinking a pumpkin cream cold brew too, but I got my knit bucks. Yeah. yeah. Mine's with like dairy-free cream, so I can have more of them. Mm. And I love it. And I have my water. It's so yummy. I love mm -hmm. fall drinks. Me too. Like the moment um, September 1st rolled around, I was like, it's fall. It's, it's fall now. Yeah. It's still like high go. 80s, but it's fall. <laughs> okay. Cat scratching at the door. Sorry oh, about that. I'm trying to get in. So yes. today is Monday, Labor Day. Yeah. And we're just going to jump into the show and we'll do the giveaway at the end. You think? Last time yes. we hit 3,000 subscribers, so we're going to do a giveaway yes. um, for some really fun gifts. We talked about that last time, so we're going to draw from those comments. Yeah. So. so if you missed it, we're so sorry. It's too late. You'll have to wait till we hit. <laughs> 4K. Um, but everything that we talk about will be linked below. Our personal Instagram Ravelries and the We Share Needles Instagram is linked and the group Ravelry group yeah. is linked. So um, if you have any questions, you can message us or you can look in the links below because I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> she is. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. love it. Are you ready to jump in? Let's do it. Let's um, do it. Start with those, I guess. Finished. Uh -huh. Uh huh. You've got mm -hmm. some good stuff. I've got do you a dive couple in? things. Sure. So I finally finished my nettle tea, which is a pattern by Sheila Toy Stromberg that I started in July. That's not that long ago. I feel like two months is a really long time for a top, <gasps> but it's finished. It's like a dress, but it's not. Yeah. It's okay. So deceptive. it's a whole wrinkly because I haven't blocked it. Because it's bamboo pop, I didn't think I really needed to, but um, it is completely blocked, or not blocked, it's completely finished, ends are woven in. You nailed it. I nailed you it. You nailed that. Um, and so here are some of the cool details. Oh, that's fine. You see a little sneaky peek for the cleaves? <laughs> <laughs> for the cleaves. For the cleaves. Love that. And also for like your little hips a little bit. So yeah, cute. it looks super duper long, but it actually fits like like a slightly oversized t-shirt in length but okay. it, it does kind of cling to my body which is not my favorite fit <laughs> um I thought I was gonna feel more comfortable in it but when I put it on I was like oh like, yeah you can like see like where my extra cookies are <laughs> um which is you know not the best but it's still cute I, if I have a good picture of me wearing it I'll put it in um but yeah I used exactly three skeins of bamboo pop Yay. and I probably should have gone a little bit longer really? um but I was down to the last like two and a half grams and I was like I'm done Whoa, yeah so I just bound off and it was really interesting how you bind this section off because yeah. down here's where you bind off and it like has these like little loops at the bottom to finish out the kind of the drop effect drop stitch yeah it's really cool I don't cool. even know if this is coming out good on camera but I really like it and I think if I got myself into some shapewear pants <laughs> I'd feel a little more comfortable that in the sense. top <laughs> absolutely but yeah That's so cool I think I knit this on a size six mainly mm -hmm. the construction is really cool you start here at like the bust and go up on both sides and in the back and then you join I won't give too much instruction but I mean there's lots of detail in the pattern it's it's a paid for pattern so pattern link below I think it's cool it's I think really a couple of people have thought about knitting it now and I'm like yay because it's it's really cool it is it's very neat it doesn't feel like it took that long I know you said you cast the one in July but yeah it was took, that like end of July no it was like July I think I put July 11th and I finished it September 3rd okay it's like a month and a half but it yeah. was you know still a long time you know like all of in the meantime July to August yeah so like almost two months yeah that's good yeah um, I did not finish a garment. I do have socks. I finished three pairs of socks. Wow. Um, one of them I gifted to a friend. I did the heel toe do, -si -do socks. To Picture that. here. Um, I used Knit Picks Felici in the colorway Summer Nights. And um, I couldn't resist. I gifted those already. Um, but these two, they're, I finished pairs. I just put one on a blocker. These are Magic Heel socks. I did 56 stitches on a US 1. 
for the heel to dosi dough, I did um, 60 stitches. So I modified the pattern a little bit to have, um, I think I did like the pattern repeat for the size small, but then 60 stitches. So I added some extra stitches here and there, but it worked. Um, I used a US one for these. These are the Magic Heel Socks by the Autumn Acorn. And this yarn is the Cozy Knitter. It's a collab she did with the Grocery Girls. So these are for my niece for her birthday, which is like next week um, or two weeks. And then these guys, I actually got this yarn in the mail um, the day we podcast last time. And this is from um, Three Stitches Short. And I just did some vanilla socks. So these are also 60 stitches. I did 20 rows of two by two rib on a US one. Did a 60 row leg, heel flap and gusset. And this yarn was a little thicker than my normal. Um, so I'm glad I measured along the way and didn't just go with my regular counts. Cause I normally do like a 72 to 74 row foot and this one's only 62 rows and it fits like a glove. So that's that guy. I love it. Those colors are fun. And I have the same socks to knit except yeah. for with pink. Yes, they're gonna be cute. Yeah. So yeah, these are for me. Um, I like them, they're fun. I need to wash them and block them and see how they sit because the yarn's just a different texture than I'm used to it's interesting I think she said her base is um similar oh. to like knit pick straw or knit pick straw maybe undyed yep finished those three pairs and the only other thing I finished was some washcloths I was bored so I knit some of these guys this is the half and half washcloth pattern by Pearl Soho but I modified it love it heavily heavily modified it a much larger needle much smaller amount cast on. All my notes are in my Ravelry page though for like numbers and stuff. That one's blown out real bad, but these are just for my stash to go in my cabinet. Just worked through some cotton, cotton that you had. Yep. I think the, this is Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton from my stash. And then both of these are Knit Picks Dishy. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to work through all my cotton and get rid of it because I don't need to have so much of that. <laughs> yeah, I can go. <laughs> I can order a skein of Dishy when I yeah. want to make a set for someone. So. Oh, I'm wearing my boxy oh, yeah. chevrons from the Arkansas Yarn Curl, and it is hanging off my shoulders. This is not yeah. a fun feeling, no. um, but I love the way the body fits. It's like a perfect fit in the body. I should have not gone up so much with the sleeves. I should have stuck to the sleeves that... Yeah, um, the tighter sleeves. Yeah, because I did a larger sleeve on this pattern. Um, I did like a size 4 sleeve and a size 2 body, and I think if I had done a size 2 on both, it would have fit. Better. I did a size two on both for mine, but my gauge is way off. <laughs> True. <laughs> Always. <laughs> True. I finished one more thing. Yay. I finished this pair of socks. This is the uh, vanilla is the new black pattern. I yeah. don't remember the name of the person who, um, I don't who wrote this pattern, but I'll link it below. It's just a really interesting heel construction, which you can't see because the sock is so dark. Um, this is Fabrelia Sockstar in the color Mirage, I think. Mm -hmm. And it was a gift from V, our friend. And they are Witch Child and Stitches on yes. YouTube. And Instagram. And Instagram. Um, really? yeah, so I think this actually fits their vibe a lot better. And I, I would really love to send the socks back to them. So if you're seeing this V and you would like socks, what if they say no? They mess with you. And like, Actually, if they say no, then I won't. <laughs> I hope not. They got the yarn, right? So I think they're wonderful, and I made them hopefully to fit. So um, I like them. I think they're pretty yeah. cool. Uh, I did cuff down US size one. I think that is what the pattern recommends as well. Um, and I did the sixty-four stitch, and it's nice. They look cool in the lighting. I like yeah, them. I think they look more stripey this way. I tried them on, so yes. now they have my foot on them. Yeah. Sorry, V. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's the only other thing I finished. Yeah, that's all I've got too. Which is <laughs> socks and washcloths. I two of those socks, the cozy knitter ones and the heel to dosi dough, I entered for summer sock camp. So I finished those before the end of August. But the other pair I finished yesterday. The one from Three Stitches Short. So. That's all I finished. That uh, was a lot. I think you finished a lot. Yeah, I did power through some. I really wish I you worked had finished on a lot. one of your whips because I like it. Um, I like them all, but I'm just like slowly working on them all. Should we move into whips? Let's do it. Whip it out. Um, I'm knitting a sock right now. So this is one of my, it's actually the only sock on my needles. And this is um, Night Owl Fibers in the colorway Life and Death Brigade. 
and I cast this on yesterday when I went to see a movie um, for Leo Loves to Knit on Instagram is doing a Gilmore Girls knit along. Um, I can't remember the hashtag. I haven't posted yet, but I'm going to. Um, and it runs like September through November or all the way through October. It's like a couple of months at least, um, which is really cool. So these are going to be an entry into that. And I have a couple other skeins of Gilmore Girls yarn in there. So I'm hoping to enter a couple others. But these are my my usual, just 60 stitches, US 1, 2.25 millimeter. Um, these are a little more than a 20 row cuff because I just went until the color changed. So I'm probably at like 22 rows. And then I ended up with like a 69 or 70 row leg because um, I just started a heel when I got out of the movie. So it's a little long. Now when you do it. your self striping, do you do it every time where you knit the row in between yes, the stripes? Yes, I do. So you see the bump is on the inside there and that just gives a cleaner look on the ribbing. So I'll like knit the two by two ribbing and then when I get to the color change on the self striping yarn, um, I knit a full row until I'm back to that first stitch when the color changed and then I resume my two by two knitting. And you can kind of see, there's like, you just don't see the bump on the transition rows. I'm trying to show you mine because I don't do that and I don't really care. Yeah, it's not like a big deal. Um, I, I, sometimes I don't do it, but typically I do. Um, if I'm gonna gift the socks, I do. Not that the person I'm gifting to would notice, I don't know. But yeah, I guess it's just habit that I do do that now. <laughs> um, I think it's cool. I just was watching Alexandria Fiberbound yeah. and um, did I say Alexandria again? I do that every time. You do. I can't help myself. <laughs> Alexandria Fiberbound and I um and she had talked about it on her socks and I have never done that. Yeah, never, not once. I've just I was like, yeah, I know a lot of people do that, and I know that's like a nice trick to make it look very clean, but. It doesn't bother me It's at not all. a big deal. I don't notice it. No, so. it's not a big deal at all. I have tons of socks where I have not done that. Um, I'm trying to see if there's one sitting here that's a lighter color, but no, nope, but I do want some. So yeah. My hair is driving me nuts. I look like an octopus. Um, I would not have liked to do an <laughs> octopus just then <laughs> just until like, you said it. Well, but then it made sense, right? Not really, not but <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. Goodness. Uh, whips, 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 whips. I've got tons of other whips, so we whips, can go whips, back and forth. Whips, whips. Actually, I don't, I don't have tons, I have four. <laughs> I have two, I think, whips that I've actually worked on, so I have to look at them. Okay, so I actually cast on the pair of socks I talked about last time. This is in my Barley Pearls bag. I had my um, September Grace shawl in there, yeah. um, and now I have the leftovers from that, which I'm knitting socks. Fun. Um, so I just have two cuffs. I'm knitting them nine inch circulars, US size one, as always, and mm. obviously cuff down. Wouldn't this be amazing if this was toe up? No. Um, <laughs> amazing so using, is the wrong word. <laughs> I'm using my leftovers and it's an Arkansas Yarn Co. Sparkle base. This is her um, original sparkle, so it's signature sparkle. And this one was Hot Tropics, I think. Yeah, we and want it to be Bahama called Tropics Mama. Like It's Hot, but or it, Tropic Like It's Hot, but it's not. <laughs> and I can't decide now. Is that your cat? That's my husband? dog. Okay. <laughs> I can't decide now if I want to do your, um, wow, your String of Hearts pattern or if I want to do the um, Butterfly Kisses socks because yeah. I love the Butterfly, butterfly kisses, kisses socks. Butterfly Kisses are good. And it's just simpler. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, because it's not cabling at all. Yep, very much. But I haven't sure. done, I've done the butterfly kisses a lot and yeah. so I kind of wanted to do something different so we'll see Love what it. these end up being but right now it's just two cuffs <laughs> and that Love was it. like a lot for me I was like over they it they took you forever yeah I was just like why can't I knit what happened to me that's funny <laughs> you hurt your arm my wrist just started hurting like a mofo nice. Whew. it's just do you guys ever get like just like a stabby pain probably not that's a me thing but yeah, just I get a stabby pain. I used to say it was around. Jesus, like smiting, smiting me. me. Yeah. What did I do just now? I always said it was dirty thoughts. Was I judging you? Yeah, I was judging <laughs> you for taking so long on your socks. True. Like solo poke, Bitch. and then Jesus. Is it smited? Smote. Smote. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> I literally did say that though because I'd be like, "Do you ever get like sharp pains?" And the person in front of me was like, "No." no. And I was like in high school and I was like, are you sure? Because like I do it all the time. I used to think it was just Jesus like getting mad at me for like having bad thoughts. Like, yeah. Not not a full smite. Like, yeah. Just, just a, a little like, hey, 
watch your watch mouth it. in yeah. your head. And he was like, no, that's never happened to me. And then it happened to him and he turned around and he's like, I think Jesus missed you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Rude. Amazing. Yeah. Oh gosh. One of my other whips, I put a little bit of progress on my scrappy blanket. Not much, like from that marker. Look but I so love cute. it. Smile. It's good. Screeny. I'm really loving this blanket. It's like the perfect width as I go. Like I feel really it's good really about good. it. I the more I see it, the more it looks like a rock. Like a yeah, like a geo section mm -hmm. of a rock or like So I literally did like eight rows nothing crazy since the last yeah. time but it's your marker a so, little bit yeah just putting in some work here and there as i can she was gonna have a blanket by the end of the year but this blanket is actually mean to her so now it it's hurts. gotta now it's gotta be worked on slowly yeah i can only do like four rows at a time before it's painful for me but so. it feels amazing like this would be a great camping blanket Ooh. like it's it's heavy but it's also like squishy and I don't know I feel like it would be it's really gonna be warm. a great blanket for everything when it's done I'll never be without it <laughs> it'll be great I'll, I'll like I'll be like a toddler who goes everywhere with my blankie <laughs> I like it I do too it's in my Mrs. Blankie. Brown's um bag that Buddy got me one year and I love that bag so yeah that's one of mine I've been looking for my phone to tell my husband to take care of the stupid dog you had your phone out because we were gonna do the giveaway here it is okay um time while you show another whip I only have one more that I've actively worked on, so I'll show you guys this because it's a new cast on. This is in my bag from V, which Child and Stitches. They made me this. They crocheted me a float tote, and I love it. Um, this is my Frank shawl by Hohi Locatelli. Mm. I just cast on the first side. I'm doing the first section, and I haven't touched it in like basically a week, maybe more. Yeah. I haven't touched it in a while. <laughs> But, um, whew, okay, it's a mess. It's all bunched up because I have it on a smaller cord-ish. Um, these are actually Maddie's cords. These are her um, Skasel squared. Skasel squared. And I, I use a US size six. The pattern says five, but I know that uh, my gauge is tighter than Maddie's and Maddie used a five. And so I was like, I'll go up a size. I'll do a six. And that way I'll get the same size shawl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll have enough yarn, we hope. So fingers um, crossed. I really like it so far. I'm about halfway done with, with this section. Then yeah. I have to repeat this whole section again. Um, this is the Arkansas Yarn Co. color um, party in my mailbox. It's an old color as well. She has it, I think, like in the shop for like pre-order. Okay. Um, but this is uh, her signature plush base. Then this color is Barbie by um, Ruthie Jane Fibers. And it's so pretty. I think they look really good together. I was really debating switching the yeah. colors um, and having this be the pink and then the, the white be the bigger stripes. Um, and then on the other side, the green would be this color and then the white would be the bigger stripes because I wanted it to have more color. But I think that this is going to be more um, cohesive. I think this will look better in yeah. the end. So I kept it. Um, it's really fun. I like, I it, like a it a lot. So I've got to repeat these twice more. It's, it's like one pink stripe and one lace stripe. I'll do that twice more on this side and then I'll start the whole process again with this green color from I think Junk Yarn. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's called Terra or maybe it's the Terra base. It's from Skein Yarn Shop. It's their um, like shop colorway okay. by Junk Yarn. So it's really pretty. I think it's gonna look really good as the opposite side of this shawl. And then obviously I have my my third color, which is a big crazy Love. boy. And I think that'll be really fun. So yeah, it is gonna be fun. I'm hoping I don't run out of yarn because I changed needle sizes, but I think I'm okay. I think I'll be okay. The only thing I would run out of probably is this one and I can switch it up at the end if I need to. So. That makes sense. I think they'll be good on you. I think it'll be I've okay. I've had a left of everything. But I haven't worked on it in a while and I'll move it back up. But I, I really want to work on my Make Nine stuff. So. Yeah. I brought all my Make Nine stuff to show. Yay. But, well, not all of it. Most of it, though. Some of it. So, what else you got? I got, um, let's see. I'll start with the small ones. A Musselberg. I worked on it a little bit more yesterday, um, just from that marker. Yesterday was like a touch all my products and get projects and get no real progress done kind of day. Finished spray socks in the morning and then it was just like a little here and there. Um, this is not that. 
I don't have the ball band. I don't remember what this is. It's a muscle perk though. Um, and I do the adult medium size. I get seven stitches an inch as my gauge, 99.9% um, .9 of the time. The fingering weight, I'm using a 2.25, no, 2.5, US 2.5 needle. Yeah, it's like a three millimeter or something. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna knit until I'm out of the yarn. So I've been working on that a little bit. This will just go in a bin. I think at Christmas, I'm just gonna have a basket of a bunch of muscle breaks that I've made and let my family claim one if they want one because there are several of my family members who don't have one yet and they are a popular knit, so it'll go in that basket. That's in a Barley Pearls bag, which I love. It stays in my car. And then I have two more. Go for it. Okie dokie. Because I haven't worked on these actively. Oh my gosh, I found my socks. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have my diaphanous raglan, which oh, I I'm love. obsessed with. I knit on it a little yesterday. Not enough. I stole a stitch marker from Kristen though, so I could show you guys my progress. <laughs> so there's my stitch marker. I did like an inch yesterday, but I'm so excited for this guy. Look at it. I just need to do this body. This is going to be my Rhinebeck sweater, which so breaking news, I'm going to Rhinebeck. Oh. Um, <laughs> I just realized <laughs> I didn't say anything. We'll talk more about that in the life yeah. and the chit chat <laughs> section, but I'll be wearing this. So keep an eye out for this sweater at Rhinebeck <laughs> on Saturday. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. I'm using Suburban Stitcher in the Colorway Boardwalk in her slub base and her fluff base. Like, no Is hint. there any more finishing along yeah. the, okay, at the top? Yeah, you I pick was, up and do ribbing. Because this one's finished. Um, it's, it's not. It's like, she the has you board? slip the stitches. No, actually, oh. um, she has you slip in. It has a nice look to it. It but does. But you will pick up and knit ribbing. And it's one of those patterns where you pick it up at the end. Double decrease and, in the middle. Yeah, double decrease in the middle. Um, and then try on several times throughout just to bring it up as much as you want. Huh. So I've seen some people do like two four rows of ribbing. Some people do like 10 to really bring it up depending on the fit. So I will do, I'm going to finish the sweater, block it, and then do the neckline because I have the perpetual problem of sweaters falling off my shoulder mm -hmm. and not fitting me correctly. You have narrow shoulders. <laughs> I unlike that lady yeah. at your wedding dress fitting. <laughs> the lady who altered my wedding dress while she was measuring me for it told me I had like linebacker shoulders, which is so rude. <laughs> like right before my wedding too, <laughs> and I didn't. No, but my dress was shoulders. like a corset top with like big like long lace sleeves and everything, so it was like fitted up here. Like, mm -hmm. but. Not so, a line by your shoulders. Rude. Anyway, I'm very excited about this and it this needs it needs work. So I'm gonna work on it soft soon. Soft and fluffy. And it will take you no time to finish once you get in the mood to finish it. Yeah. But like this is amazing. Can I put my arm in Go there? Go for really it. Quick? I just yeah. want to like, feel what it feels like. Okay, you can't see my tattoo through. Oh, this is my <laughs> I don't have a tattoo on that. <laughs> no one can see it. <laughs> I was like, you can't even see my hand. Yes, you can. <gasps> I love it. It's, so it's gonna soft. be. I'm excited about that. Just I can't the tattoo. Wait. I want to get more tattoos to show through this sweater. Mm. I'm gonna show up to Ryan back with a full sleeve, tap galore, and only sleeves on a sweater. Yeah. <laughs> I'll spend all of my time getting tattoos on my arms yeah. instead of knitting the sweater. I love so. it. I love it. If I won the lottery, it's beautiful. I've put that one on my next make nine. I love that sweater. Mm -hmm. Love it a lot. I put to sleep. Good timing for foot sleeping. Yeah. Is that it for whips? Nope, still have this guy. Oh, it's beautiful. This is my float tote. This is my travel mode. And I think I cast this on right after the last podcast too. I believe so. Because I didn't have much on my needles. So I was scrolling Ravelry Hot right now and saw the travel mode 2.0. And I made Kristen come in here and help me pick out colors. Oh, look at it's it. It's so good. <gasps> This is going to be a large rectangular it's a, shawl. It's pretty much completely rectangular, but it's made up of like rectangles on a diagonal. So you start on, I started here on this end and it's going to go like long ways and it'll finish out as a rectangle. Um, I have kind of a diagram. You're not going to be able to see that. Oh yeah, that's the shape of it. I just have like little notes on my colors on the pattern. Um, super easily memorizable. It's been like really, really fun to knit. Like you just set things up and go, go, go. And it's a little section, so it goes fast. I have two more rectangles down here, like here and here. And then I have the center triangles and then I flip it and reverse on the other side. Um, and it's so good. I'm doing this on a US 
five. And my colors, let's see, see if I can remember. This one is Stress Knits on her favorite base and it's the colorway I Smell Snow um, with a little personalization from when I spilled coffee on the full skin. <laughs> so it's custom. <laughs> um, Love it. This is Macy, the orange is. Did I keep ball bands? I wrote these down, so I'm gonna pull up my Ravelry super quick. I think that's from her last year's fall collection. Yes, this is one that she sent me, which was so sweet. Um, okay, Macy's is Pumpkin Spice. So that's great. Um, this, my navy blue is Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, acid Wash Jeans. Okay, then I have to remember these two. Oh, this is it. Okay, this one is Old Rusted Chair. My Variegated in the colorway Panic in Detroit. Panic in Detroit. <laughs> and then, right, my teal is Rising Tide Fiber Co. And When the Dam Breaks. This is all stash yarn. We put it together ourselves and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, the orange is not a color I knit with a ton, but I had the pumpkin spice and I had the um, old rusted chair down here to kind of tie it together and I'm just loving it. It's so pretty. I it love loving so how the colors are playing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a new cast on and a whip. And hopefully my like tentative goal for myself is to finish this and the diaphanous raglan before the West Knits Mal. I don't know if that'll happen 100%. I might hold back on socks, like reel it in with socks a little bit, just finish the ones I have in my Desert Vista Dye Works for September that I need to cast on and then focus on these guys. Cause they're both vanilla basically. This is like tiny bit of increasing and the diaphanous is completely vanilla. So I don't know, that's like my tentative goal is to have both of those done. I'm completely obsessed with this right now though. Like it's so pretty. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. So it's in the gauge is perfect. I love fingering on a five. That's like my go-to shawl gauge for me. I'm a loose knitter, so. It's not gonna have any more border on it. It does. It does. You pick up and do a border. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember what the border is, but it has one all the way around. I think so it's it'll be a big the white, right? I think it's like all the colors. Like oh, one really? where you do like a couple rows of each color, mm. maybe. I'd have to look at the pattern, which I can do. <laughs> right now. Isn't that incredible technology? I just frogged by Musselberg because I, I thought you meant this. just now. I was like, oh my yeah, god. I, just, I did just oh. now while you were talking. <laughs> a go off? Yeah, because it was just that the increases and I, I was off and it looked a little loose. So it's not all the colors. It's a couple of the colors though and then an I cord. Mm. So you can, can look up Travel Mode 2.0. It'll be on my project pages. It's by the same person who designed it. this. So soon it. Yeah. Soon I'm summer. loving it. Our friend Jennifer cast it on with me too. Um, and it's really fun. So, yeah, and I'm using some stitch markers that Kristen got me. The oh, yeah. Halloween stitch markers. That's actually my only acquisition. Go off. Yeah. Yeah, they're the Halloween ones from Vessel Stitch Co. Come on. There we are. Blah, blah, it's blah. getting gloomy out, which is making for really good lighting, honestly. <laughs> and then my favorite of those is this little bat. Look at him. I love him. Yeah. Love this project. So cute. And that is all of my whips. That's all of your whips. They're all whipped out. I have this muscle burn. I'm all whipped out. <laughs> it's ripped out. So <laughs> you're whipped out. I'm ripped out. Oh, um, I also frogged a sweater because I was looking for more size six needles. And I had this baby sweater on the needles. Oh, yeah. And it's done. So um, I hated this. I didn't like working with this. Hmm. It's a cotton ripple cake and it's just not good. It's in the cutest bag. The so this bag needs bag. to go onto a new project. I don't know what project I'll put in there. But I like it a lot. I had, for my Make 9, my mom's Uchi sweater, Yeah. I had done um, a swatch and obviously ripped it out because, or or cut off and threw it away because it's gone. And I don't know what needle size I used. Mm. And I had gotten close enough to gauge for me, yeah. but I hadn't made gauge. So I don't know. Gonna have to re-gauge it and do, I want to finish this because, I want to finish this in September. Yeah. I want to finish this in three weeks, my mom's birthday. Mm, Can I do it? It's lace. It's a lace open front short sleeve cardigan. We should keep each other accountable. We need to sit down after this um, Pass it today on. and it. we're going to look at how much we each have to do each day for you to finish that and for me to finish my diaphanous. You'll do that. And I'll do the math. Okay. And then every day in our Snapchat streaks, we have to announce to each uh, other whether or not we did it. That's so good. And then we bully each other if we yeah. didn't. Like we're really mean to each other. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> what if I cry? Get your knitting then. No, no. Get your knitting done. That's right. No, okay. I won't bully you, but we should make a plan and keep each other accountable because I want my diaphanous done ASAP. What else what you else got in this little beautiful bag? Um, this is a prize that I never got to give away because nobody re responded to that. So we'll put that in there for now. Oh I know that's your... your, uh, your it's book. mine now. She put yeah. it on my acquisition well, basket. We'll just keep it here so that I don't yeah. lose it. What else do I got? This that's is not... Bag. Yeah, oh, you yeah. got me this. Go figure. <laughs> that's nothing. That's nothing. Uh... This is my only other thing, and this is my sweater that I haven't touched. Yeah, your as fall well. Favorites. This is my fall favorite. I've got sticky labels all in it, but I need to finish this before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I think I'm gonna make it cropped. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> because I don't want to knit a big long sweater um, with yeah. also having like the the. West knit knit along yeah. and Rhineback and um, Dallas Fiber Fest and all of the stuff that we're doing. I don't think I'm gonna have time to finish this, but I want to finish all my make nine stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I didn't even bring my shifty, um, and I need to cast that on too. So. Hmm. But I really like how this is coming out. It's interesting. Um, I think I picked too many colors, but that's okay. Yeah. I like it. Um, it's in this giant O snap bag. And it's using Hobby Lobby that I've had in my stash for years at this point. So been a while. Uh, we're not we're not shopping at Hobby Lobby anymore, but I am guys. using yeah. the stuff that we're gonna use the stashes. <laughs> but from this point forward, actually from months ago yeah. now forward, when we have Hobby Lobby, it's just stash stuff. And I appreciate being held accountable by you guys. Yeah. Because I needed that. Mm-hmm. So don't shop at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, what else? I bought some shit. I bought nothing except for those cute stitch markers from Bessel Stitch Co. Sure? Actually, yeah. I do have two things in the mail that just haven't come yet, yeah. so they'll be next time. Okay. Yeah. I just got a couple of things. One was my six month prize from Desert Vista Dye Works. It's so good. Because I finished six months, and um, for finishing six months of the Desert Vista Dye Works in Milan, I got to pick a skein from her shop. So this one's called The Loneliest Road. Isn't it fun? It is really good. I like this base. It looked, it's the Viso base. That's the one I get for all of them. Okay. Um, it looked more yellow than orange in the picture, but I still love it. Still gonna use it. It obviously. looks kind of Halloween-y, but then there's this blue. There's like little bits of pink yeah, too. Yeah, just, just tiny like little breaks or something. And that's good. It's I really like it. It's really fun. I think that you'll have lots of people who like that sock yeah. in your family. It'll be a good one. I've been trying to decide who. I thought maybe could that Ben. Be ben? Yeah. <laughs> could my, that be Ben? My little brother, one of my little brothers, Ben, his birthday is at the beginning of November. So I was thinking either my September or October Desert Vista Dye Works would be for him. I could cast this one on. He would like it. I think so. It. I don't know why it looks more nate. It maybe. does look nate because the orange. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even. I guess his school colors were orange in mm -hmm. high school, so I guess that. Yeah. Hmm. Because I got. I had a skin of yarn dyed for Nate's school. From Lori, so those were his high school colors. Well, he went to two high schools. He transferred them. Well, yeah. So those are kind of his vibe. They'll be for someone though. I like them. Yeah. I like that one. And then my. September Sock Yarn Society box came. So if you have not gotten that yet, I'm gonna show it. So I won't talk about it a ton, but just close your eyes for a minute. So I'm gonna show the yarn. Three, two, one, here we go. Very good yarn. Yes. Um, I guess I won't read the name. I'll just, if it'll focus, I'll show you. The name is so funny though. Should I just, does it doesn't matter? Yeah, just, it, it, you don't wanna see the skip ahead two minutes. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, the name is Granny Smith Walked Uphill Both Ways. Okay, so that's something my dad used to say to me all the time. Your dad used to say no. that too? Okay, so he used to tell me when we were complaining about anything, well, I used to have to walk to school in the snow barefoot with my brother on my back, but uphill both ways. Like, that's silly. Every time you complain, that was what you'd respond, and that is what Lori said when they were doing the um, the reveal. She was just like, uphill both ways, and I was just with no shoes on, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's it's a cute. thing. That's <laughs> cute. <laughs> That's really cute. So it's a good, um, let's see if you can see that. Our light is just, it's blowing out right now. Yeah. Let's can see. you? Hello. There we go. There we go. Kind of. <laughs> it's good. There I'm going to this one fairly soon, I think. So I, I think, space. yeah, that it's apple picking themed. Yeah, the whole bag is. Right. And so tons of extras, little stuff. So I got this little 
thing. No, they skipped ahead. This little bag. Um, I was gonna not describe it, but this thing, come on. It's like a box bottom. It's a pencil clear, pouch. It's, pouch. It's a back to school theme. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, there was a pencil in there. Sorry, I had to hiccup. There's a cinnamon apple chamomile tea. I've never that had cinnamon apple good. chamomile. A pair of scissors. Those are nice. They are. Those are sharp. Ooh, they, they are. They are. <laughs> a tapestry needle. A hand sanitizer. With which a I'm, hand sanitizer holder. Yes, in a little holder. And I'm going to trade this with my friend Jennifer because hers is blue. So she gets my pinky purple one and I'm going to steal her blue one. And then the stitch markers, which are honestly the whole reason I subscribe. I just love them. They are so good. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? There we go. Kind of. It's a little apple. And then it's the an Arkansas one green is one. green. Yeah, what the heck's happening? Why is it so gone out today? There we go. The overcast is not helping us. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are really cute. I'm going to swap that sanitizer thing. I'm going to gift this pencil pouch to one of my friends. And, um, but I like the yarn. I like everything else. It's good stuff. That's going up here. And that's all I got. That's all, folks. Well, you know, I should have my yardable box, but it didn't show up. And I got a bag from Georgian that is in the mail. Yeah. So hopefully I get it this week. We'll have those and for next time. that's it. That's all I've got because we're holding off on shopping because we want to get West Knit kits. West Knit kits. Well, I not know. from them. And you're, are you, what are you doing? I, is anybody else doing the West Knit knit along? I know a lot of people are. Okay. So I, I don't want to buy a whole kit. I want to supplement my stash. So I'm thinking, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you all follow it like we do. So he released the Stephen um, West. Kits. <laughs> Stephen West released the yeah. kits and things, so we know kind of the color that I have to go for, and we're looking for contrast. We need two skeins of a main color, two skeins of a contrast color, and one accent color, all fingering weight. So, my initial thoughts are that I'm going to go um, from Homestead and get another skein of the black and another skein of white, which are the colors Theo and Alex, and use these two with something teal, like maybe even my... Um, this is movie that. knitting. Yeah. So I'm thinking this. Yeah. And then I just purchased these two. But we're also planning to go to Rich Mountain Fiber Co. in Mina sometime I've never been. in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think if she had solids that were like two black, two white, or something like that, I would just purchase four skeins in a non sock base because these are high twist. So these were gonna be for Buddy. But I could really also just good. supplement and then I would only have to buy two skeins. Yep. And then it would be my movie knitting, which I've been looking mm -hmm. for like a prize project to mm -hmm. use it in. It's going to be good. So that's it what I'm Could thinking. be worms though. Could be cables. Could be. It is going to be cables those, probably. What are those braids? Latvian braids. Hate those. So. So I was also, I mean, I have. You have so much. My contrast is going to be like a blue or a green. I'm like almost positive. Yeah, because that would match most of your wardrobe. It's my vibe. Look at this one. There's also this is oh, no, paper one. crayons. My friend Jen got me this one. I thought that could be fun. Yeah. Is yours a single? No, mine's a single. No, mine's not. Um, so I had some other things I could look at too, but I'm 99% set on one of these is my accent color and these two. Really leaning towards this. I stash dove and found like two skeins that I could use that are kind of pink mm -hmm. with like kind of maroonish speckles. And I was like, okay, I could work around this, but I was like, well, am I going to do another pink shawl? Hmm. I think I need to go for something a little more neutral. Yeah. So Blackbird Sycamore, who was our friend, mm. Stephanie, yeah. she released some kits on Instagram. Like, well, she has a Etsy, I think, but she posted hers on Instagram and I love them. There's a bunch, but then I also yeah. keep thinking about, like a minty green and a very pastel-y but like kind of bright purple mm. and then having like a bright pink Ooh. or bright like blue accent yeah I just keep thinking about that too or doing like pastel pink blue and purple yeah. those are like my favorite that I don't know fun. I just keep I'm like I'm gonna get a kit because I'm yeah. not I'm not gonna be able to stash dive none of my two skein um like sets uh go together yeah everything's not, crazy not everything's vibe. variegated and so we're trying to yeah. look for tonals and i don't solids. have any two skein sets that are not sweater quantities i've got like three skeins of dk down here mm -hmm. everything else is sweater quantities i did think about using this is a sweater quantity 
Actually, this is just three skeins I have left from Arkansas Yarn Co. I used two of these skeins for shorts. So I could use two of these. Mm -hmm. And then I could do like... You can get another white or another black and do the other one as the that's accent. That's kind of what I was thinking. I would think two of black and then get the white yeah. as the accent. But then... I actually love that. Okay, so if I do that... <laughs> then you only I... have to buy one. You only have to buy a black. Yeah. But should I... Do the white as an accent? I think the white as an accent. Because it would pop. And then that saves me $40, then essentially. Then you only have to buy $40. one skein. Oh my gosh, what did we just do? Okay. <laughs> but I don't have... I wish I had two skeins of anything else. Like, literally. In Suckweed. So I would have, like, options, but I don't. Like, I think that might be it. Now that I say that, because I already broke up this sweater quantity for something. So then I'll have, like, a skein and a half left. I mean, you have this. That's my Illuminate. Oh yeah, no. Because it's in two bags. There you go. So it's it's five skeins of fingering yeah. and three of no here. Which I'm that's on my make nine. I'm not doing that this year, honestly. It's just probably not gonna happen. You never know. But then I also have I bought three of this for an Ooh, outline tee. Well you already have this one. That's yeah. kind of silly. And that's more variegated, so I do want the more solid, so that's a no. Okay, so now I'm thinking this is just a brainstorming session. I'm thinking I get one more skein of the homestead block yeah there you go and then i get one more scan of the black Ooh. and then i have my white as the accent what do y'all think that um, looks really good i think that's it i'm gonna message <laughs> i've been messaging crafty christina um about the make along ever since he announced everything so i'm gonna send her a picture in a minute and get her approval <laughs> <laughs> get permission from my friend <laughs> but um that might be it. And then I'm only buying one skein. I feel good about that. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. The downside of that is I'm mixing bases because my teal is yummy plush and then these two are high twist. That's okay. I don't love that, but you've done it before. I want a stash dive. I yeah. don't want to buy a full kit. Like I want so badly to get through some, this is crazy. It's crazy. It's unnecessary. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just, the only reason I'm saying it's unnecessary is because it started to cause me stress. Yeah. And until recently, it didn't. It brought me joy to buy yarn. And lately, it's making me overwhelmed. And, like, when I want to cast something on, I'm, like, getting overwhelmed by the amount of things to cast on. And then I'm just not. Or I'm just grabbing something that's already caked or something I don't really love. My pets. So, I want to narrow it down. That way, I'm not so overwhelmed. Because I want to enjoy my cast oning. Cast on process more. I'm sorry about my cat. Do you think it's Max or Max? That sounded like Max. <laughs> Which I told Buddy to get Max, so who knows? Um, well, I think that you found it. I think that that's a good I plan. Think that's it. You better ask um, Sarah at Homestead if she has that in stock or she has to dye it. I'm going to order it right now, actually. I'm going to yeah. go to her website in a second. So, so now what I'm are you guys doing? these in a bag. Who's, this is my kit. Who's participating in the MCAL? What are you guys doing? Did anybody get kits? I think that Zach got a kit from Stephen West. Yeah, I saw somebody else. Somebody else ordered their kits, and Lisa of Seventy Two Stitches ordered from Knit Picks. She did and that she with one of colors. her other ones, and it was really good. She did She's like good a very crystal-y color. It was like yeah. she did white, black, um, like a tealy turquoise, and and a pink, and that was very me. It's a shawl in a bag. <laughs> shawl in a bag. I like it. I do too. I'm excited about that. I don't know what I want to do, but I do know that I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, so. for sure. 100%. And I, I never do it in the timeline. So if you guys are afraid of that and like, oh, I don't want to do it because I'm never going to do it in the timeline. I never do. Do it with me. It'll be me and you guys. You guys have your own timeline. Yeah. <laughs> I do do it within the timeline. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this last time... I did it in the timeline to an effect because I was on vacation yeah. when I was doing it and um, I didn't want to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't want any spoilers so I had to keep up until I got to clue four and then I was over it. Yeah. Yeah. At clue four I was done. I was like okay I'll do this when I feel like it because at that point with the shawlography I just didn't like it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Which I actually wear that shawl more than I've worn any of my others. Interesting. It's just that knitting it was not my favorite. I feel like Stephen West, by the end, I'm like always exhausted by them. <laughs> like, it's just so much. But I enjoy it. I mean, I'm going to keep doing it. Lifestyle, we're done with that knitting. Should we get, do our giveaway first? 
We can, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm buying a skinny yarn. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, she just has a couple left of Theo, so I'm just buying it really quick. So the 3,000 subscriber giveaway uh, was last time, and yeah. we have a bag from Georgian, a gift card from um, from Kimber's Cozy Creations, who did the We Share Needle sock set, and she's a really cute kit for um, <sighs> Gabs and Che. What is their podcast? Slip Slip Sis. Um, mm -hmm. They're sisters, and they have That's a cute. pink and purple, like, set of colors. Yes. They're very, very, very They're cute. Very cute. Um, I love them. They're love so it. cute. Yeah. Gabs and Che are really cute. Mm -hmm. um, I'll link their podcast below because they're like really fun. Um, are they cute? Yeah, they're actually cute. <laughs> <laughs> she said it like four times. They're so I just cute. Mean. <laughs> Be mean. <laughs> so I pulled up the comments from um, our last episode and wait so a minute. The comments. Amazing. Let's talk about it. I figured we could talk about the ones it draws and then we can talk about more. Okay. Does that work? Then it'll, it'll, we can say our favorites. We love it. Our prompt was, um, comment your favorite thing or the craziest thing, your favorite thing we've said on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And they were amazing. So we're enjoying three, correct? We are. I thought we were just doing one big prize. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. One big, one big prize. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We said that. I forgot. Yeah, just one big I'm sorry, prize. I forgot. Okay. I drew it. I had to type in the, the stuff. All right. So the winning comment is the classic drill it and fill it. Everybody loves that. And it is <laughs> Denise Hawkins. She said, I laughed about the drill it and fill it story. So there we are. Denise, send us a message, comment, or no, don't comment. Email us at wesharenewspodcast at gmail.com or, or DM one of us on Instagram. And... We'll get all that stuff organized for you, Denise. But yes, the comments. that prompt was so that made us so happy. It was so funny, um, guys. We were oh just texting gosh. each other back and forth. Like, do you even remember that? Like, yeah, like, oh my <laughs> gosh, there were so many where it was like, what the heck we said that? Yeah. I just I enjoyed scrolling through it so much. I'm like scrolling now. And so many people said the drill it and fill it stuff, which was our conversation about Andy. Yeah, our last episode um, before the giveaway. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm like I think my favorite comments were about the Amish conversation. <laughs> <laughs> because we talk about Amish people too much. I mean, yeah. we're doing it this morning. Like, literally, we're having we Amish, Amish people conversations before And we were talking breakfast. about them in one episode. Yeah. And we're like, oh, I hope we don't offend Amish people. And then we're like, oh, wait a second. They're not watching this? Yeah, if you're Amish, you're probably not watching. But if probably. you are, hello. More power to you. Either way, that was hysterical. Yeah. I, I can't even, I was just so overwhelmingly Ugh, A lot of people really enjoyed our um, choose which right you get today. Um, yes. And that made us happy too because we forgot favorite. about that. Oh, I still say it. I say it all the time. All the time at home, uh, I get asked to do something. I'm like, sorry, I actually don't have the right to do that yeah, any longer. My bad. My bad. Um, <laughs> also, um... I'm scrolling through right now. This one, Natalie C. commented, when you randomly just say I'm mentally ill in the middle of stories, it makes me howl. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's accurate. I mm -hmm. love that. Oh my it's gosh. mental illness, isn't it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, lots of people love Whip It Out. Yep. Last week, you talking about Baby Escort. Oh that was gosh. a hit. People yeah. love Baby Escort. I was a Baby Escort. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Some people talking about art. There's some hoes in this house, and we love that. We, uh, we didn't know that we were like a hoe perpetrator. Like, yeah, I I've always. Know. I mean, we joke about it. I yeah. hear the term hoes a lot for half objects, like one sock out of the Yeah, car. I've never not known that that was a good yeah, thing. But I guess we say it a lot, and oh, like when true. we say it, we joke about it. We do. We don't say, "Oh, I have some half objects." Like, we're like, "You yeah, got hoes. some hoes in this bitch." Like, <laughs> <laughs> we do every time. <laughs> It's Ugh. ridiculous. Goodness gracious. This one, I literally did not remember this at all. And I stopped reading. I think I flatlined like when I read this. It was so freaking funny. Re Rebecca Allen Doherty said, my favorite was a few episodes ago, <laughs> episodes ago when Maddie said, imagine sticking your foot in chicken noodle soup. <laughs> and Kristen said, that's what I do imagine every day. I remember that because you're making fun of the base soupy sock base. And you were like, 
I had no <laughs> recollection, still don't. Oh my god. Soupy, and you're like, soupy, and I said, I like it. And you were like, imagine putting your foot in chicken noodle soup. You? I said, I do, every day. We are like the epitome of yes and comedy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. All, we're, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> funny this one I'm, now we're literally just reading comments yeah but, but that was literally it made it us feel so, so good I, we were having downs we yeah. were very sad we were having... <laughs> have you seen that tiktok <laughs> because Susan said everything you do is hysterical but my favorite comment is when y'all always sit on the floor and then complain about how your feet or legs fall asleep which hey, we did we're doing right time. now no, we did good I feel like I didn't fall asleep oh my mine, mine are asleep currently <laughs> I just wasn't complaining I am sitting quite awkwardly <laughs> like <laughs> straddling all of my stuff <laughs> it's just like a oh. little yeah Oh my gosh. Lots of people saying our name is the favorite thing or the funniest thing about us. We Which, agree. Thank you. We agree. Thank you. Wholeheartedly. Oh my gosh. I could literally just read these all day. Yeah, I it really do. did. It warmed the cockles of my heart. <laughs> what is that from? Do you know what it's from? No. What is it from? I say it in my head all the time. <laughs> I was in the movies yesterday, and there was a sign by the bathroom that said something about youth escort, like, no youth about escort, and we walked by, and my, I was with my brother Ben, and he was like, youth should not be escorts. <laughs> like curly-headed fuck. I told him that line, and he goes, I quote that movie every day. So he said, you have to greet him like that. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, then I said it to him like five times. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm glad sorry. he wasn't like, what? <laughs> that would have been even better. I told him, I was like, I wish you didn't know the movie so somebody could say that to you. And he'd be like, <laughs> and he'd be like okay, rude. Yeah. <laughs> so what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I didn't see this one. <laughs> this is three stitches short. Who sent us the yarn? So sweet. She said, I totally died when you were talking about how you came up with your name and had, what? The other name that the, it could have been? Oh, I don't see that. And anyway, the second half of the comment is what made me laugh. Kristen said, you were nearly called Scissor Me. Yeah. And that literally made me spit on my That drink. was the other thing we could have been named. <laughs> we say that to one another when we need scissors. Yeah. Or like, anything. Yeah. Drink me. Scissor me. Scissor me. <laughs> Bread me. <laughs> <laughs> anything yeah someone had commented how they liked when we were on zoom it was zach we were on zoom and buddy came in and we were talking about whip whips or whipping it out or yeah. some, something weird and buddy was like what are you doing <laughs> we're just foul oh is what we're, we're doing. terrible people also loved buddy's ad he did for us that we placed so nice. in periodically He's heard his so, name three times. Let's see if he comes. He's like Beetlejuice. He won't. He, he is so deaf. He's more deaf than you. Oh, that's so sad for him. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I could just scroll through these forever. Um, go look at the comments if you haven't yet. So funny. So funny. Um, we also wanted to talk about, well, now that that's over, yay, giveaway, yay, 3,000 subscribers. Um, the We Share Needle Sock Set that Kimber, well, it's she just dyed yarn. So she yeah, actually she did other stuff. But we should needle yarn that Kimber dyed. Uh, we have a make along happening in on Ravelry and it's going to be closed. So we're yes. giving you an extra two weeks because today's Labor Day. So we were supposed to close it today, but we kind we of forgot. Talk about it time. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, we're going to leave it open and then we're going to pull winners next time. So even if you haven't finished, it's just a chatter thread. <laughs> Um, you can post pictures of what you're knitting or post pictures of your yarn. You can just chat in there and yeah. then we'll pick a winner um, next podcast. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Absolutely. We're and we'll pick, I think we'll pick a couple winners. We've yeah. had some donations. Yes. Whew, I almost hiccuped. Uh, that was oh. fun. Jam-packed. Jam I mean, short, but fun. I feel like I don't have to cut anything out. We've got the downs. We've got the downs. 
<laughs> We've got the juice. <laughs> Are you guys on porn TikTok? You best be. Yeah, truly. Oh it's my god. It's a great part of uh, the world right now. Kristen was over here the other day and um she was saying she started singing the corn song. She's like, corn and buddy goes, Yeah, yeah, it's got the juice. <laughs> I was like talking to you about corn and about to sing the song and I kind of looked at him like do you get it and he's like yeah yeah corn got the juice <laughs> yeah yeah it's got the juice hilarious <sighs> yeah oh my gosh okay we're gonna move into chit chat what about a time our lives to be alive. oh yes what a time so if you're only here for the knitting thanks for hanging out um we're gonna talk about Ryan back at the top though so if you want to hear about that a little bit and then we'll go into life so adios amigos if you're still here, you're a real one. You're a real one, G. Ryan Beck. Kristen was going all along. Mm -hmm. Kristen planned a trip. I was too chicken to go on said trip. Mm -hmm. um, then... Well, let's set the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Jennifer, Threadhead Fibers, was like, hey, would it be weird if I showed up on your family vacation with your mom? And we just I just went to Ryan Beck and I was like, no, like that would be really, really cool that I wouldn't have to be alone and that would be yeah. awesome. And she was like, hey. I have this extra voucher that is gonna go bad. I can't use it, do you want it? And I said, no, but you know who would love it and who would be easily convinced to go to Rhinebeck if you just bought her a ticket. Uh, it would be Maddie. This girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like was at work and doing work stuff. She and was so I, busy. My phone's blowing up and I'm just like, what is happening? It was like a Friday. Yeah. And Jennifer and I both have jobs where Friday afternoons are slow. Kristen <laughs> does not. Um, so Jennifer texts me and um, basically said, uh, or she snapped at me. She's like, I'm going to Ryan Beck. You're going to Ryan Beck. What can I do to make this come true? Yeah. Like, I want you to come. And she's telling me about the voucher. And then she emailed me an itinerary, a detailed itinerary of when our flights would leave, arrive, what we're going, where, where we're going, what we're doing, all this. And told me, like, I have everything booked. You just cash out me this dollar amount and you're done. And I was like, ah. Uh, and then I stressed for a few minutes. And then I texted my friend Jana and we uh, started a group chat. And I was like, okay. I, I think I'm gonna go. Are you gonna go? Do you wanna go, Jana? And then Jana's going too. So I was like, well, not, now I have to go. For yeah. sure. So we're flying out on Friday. I um, told talked to my dad about it, taking the time off for it. Flying out Friday, we're gonna be at Ryan Beck all day Saturday. We're driving around, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna meet Kristen and her mom and crash their family vacation. And <gasps> we're gonna be at Ryan Beck. We're excited. I'm very excited. So not just us too, like our, our little group, all the people we talk about all the time, Jennifer and Jana. We're just missing Marietta. Yes, she's out of town on another trip, but next year we'll plan better and have the whole, the whole gang. Um, I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really, really, really fun. It is. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm incredibly anxious. Um, my mom <coughs> has a PET scan on Monday mm -hmm. and I have a doctor's appointment. And so we're both, um, waiting on that appointment to like solidify our plans yeah. so it could be that maddie goes and i don't if my mom's pet scan yeah. comes back bad that's fair <laughs> that's totally fair but prayers and hopes and yeah. wishes and spells that it is fine that everything's fine and dandy yeah. for everyone and we can all so. go and have so much fun um we're not going to do any of the other Rhinebeck We're not stuff. doing events. We're not going to Woolen Folk or Cakeapalooza or it's like um, too much. any classes. We've been asked if I'm going to any classes. No. or um, So I was talking to Jesus, who's on Instagram um, and is going. Mm -hmm. And I think this is his first trip too. And he's going, I think, with his husband. His husband's not a knitter, I believe. Okay. And so he's like, yeah, we can hang out. And I was like, Excellent. He'll fit in fine. Perfect. It'll be great. be great. Yeah. Um, and so we were talking and he was like, so what are like your plans for Ryan Beck? And I was like, I have never been. I just want to see it all. He's like, my plans, pet a sheep <laughs> or a llama. Amazing. Or a my kind <laughs> he of was guy. like, buy yarn. And I was like, excellent. And he was like, um, a knit. And I was like, I, this is perfect. That's so that's kind doing. of our thought process. <laughs> this year we're going, we're just doing Saturday. We're going to be low key. Um, I don't know. We'll be there a while probably, but playing it by ear and just getting a feel for the whole thing and then next year when we have a little more time to plan and like we're a little more comfortable we may choose to do some of the friday night stuff and some other stuff too um but for this year we're just gonna go to Redbeck so we can picture it in our heads and wrap our minds around it because we're anxious bitches so anxious and you know this year would have been the year to like 
I don't know, do stuff since now everybody's going and we wouldn't, well, at least me, I wouldn't have felt so overwhelmed. Yeah. But I think also like doing it once and then having that I think everyone will keep going. Will it sounded like everyone better. in our group, our like little knit group we'll is into go. it and we'll want to go again <laughs> and then we'll just plan and we'll get a... We'll, a bigger Airbnb yeah, we'll earlier. Yeah, get tickets together. Nicole and, can come. Yeah. Professor Pearl, we're so sorry that we planned this so late. Because so last minute. she was going to be there and it was going to be cool. But, like, we don't know anything about it. And, like, honestly, I have not paid that close attention. I've just mm -hmm. seen people there I and just, not really. Yeah, I know it's yeah. yarn related. <clears throat> I don't plan to buy a ton of yarn. I'll buy some things. But, um, like, I mean, I was just talking about my stash. So, it's like, I don't have any other big projects in mind. I have... <clears throat> three sweater quantities over there that are just sitting and waiting to be knit um four actually because I ordered a kit from Macy that could be this will be oh no it's only one skein I thought I got two skeins of mohair I was gonna do a diaphanous I could do a rocket tee with this mm -hmm. but anyway um it's all exactly the same color everything in that cubby but <laughs> um yeah so I'll probably just get like some single skeins of something but I'm really excited to go it's gonna be fun I have already built my make nine for next year, so I'm going to start yeah. looking at stuff for those projects. Um, I do not have sweater quantities other than what I have plans for. I just don't. I always buy single skeins mm -hmm. of yarn. That's the bitch I am. Yeah, fair. You know, and so now I have like so many skeins of soccer hat yarn. Like I do not Literally. need that many socks. I don't know that many people. Like, you know, like even for I kids, swear. I have a friend I talked to yesterday for like an hour on the phone and, um, she was like, you know, I would really like it. Like if, if I could like have like, you know, like a hat or something and like, I would send you money or yarn. And I was like, girl, I would make you anything like not a problem. Like mm -hmm. you tell me what you're thinking about. What colors? And I yeah. will make it for you. What's your I was like, Unless it's ugly and then I'm not gonna. <laughs> but like, if I want to knit it, I don't care. You can have it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If I want to knit it, it's it's yours. Me you too. Know? I'm at the point now, like I used to feel like I had more yarn than I could ever have in socks, but I've changed my sock recipe so much over this last year to get my fit better. Um, there's a little thing I was tearing, sorry. And so I have a, like a drawer packed full of socks, but not all of them fit very well. So I don't, there's some that I don't hardly ever wear. I think I'm going to sort through and put together a little basket and offer hand-me-down socks to my friends if they want my used socks. Um, they're clean. <laughs> my used socks. Right? Because they're just like slightly too loose or too small or like little things. They're just not the perfect fit that you have now. Yeah. And now I'm getting better at it. So I'm going to like clean some out and then have some room for more. And you've got to have like 50 pairs of socks for yourself. Oh my God. I've knit oh, like hundred and... Yeah. Just like 180, I think now. 180 pairs of socks. Gifted I've a lot of those. 69 pairs of socks, and I told never myself, knit again. yeah, I would never knit another sock again. But then I cast on this pair of socks, and I was like, well. And then we decided you would just knit toeless yeah, socks. Yeah, then they don't count, you know. And, and then I'll you would make a else. pattern for the toes. Yeah, so I have 69 pairs of socks, and then six, you know, however many. 69 pairs of toeless socks. Yeah, of, of, of sock adjacent objects. Yeah. <laughs> you could just start knitting Musclebergs all the time instead and have 69 Musclebergs. That's what I want. I, I think I'm close on Musclebergs. <laughs> Honestly, same. I love it. I, I knit so many and they're so good. That train is coming. I know it is it coming. Good thing we're just chit-chatting anyway. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of done. Yeah. I am going to the Dallas Fiber Fest. You are? Yes. You've changed every day this week. Every it goes day. back and forth. I'm going to do it. I okay. want to go. Yeah. That's close by. That's fun. I definitely will be able to get there. Um, and Lindsay still wants me to go. Good. <laughs> Even though I've been like flip flopping. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, that, that's a real G right there. Lindsay always a real first. friend. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't have my work trip that I was going to have that weekend anymore. But I'm... <sighs> so cool. I'll think about it. We could see Macy. Yeah. Macy Skangs is going to be there. Uh, I don't want to spend more money on you. I know. You don't have to. Just go. Yeah, just go. Maybe. Maybe people will just throw yarn at you and be like, oh my god, they're my daddy. Ah, take our yarn. You know? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we That's just overwhelming. We just had Cracker Barrel for breakfast and there was a family that was irritating us. <laughs> because they were, they were really so rude. rude but when maddie was knitting they were just like in awe like 
watching her like smiling all of them two little boys and a dad and a mom Kristen's like you have fans I and like, I was fans. like our fans were bitches to the wait yeah side. they were because not when nice. we got there they were up there berating the hostess like for taking too long to yeah them. she's like how much they're longer so special <laughs> on Labor Day yeah, at Cracker Barrel like they're the you. only people who want to eat we were both just like I could never could you ever talk to someone like that just no I mean maybe the people at the animal hospital who won't get max an appointment but they call back I'm okay. just she's She's having surgery tomorrow actually yeah so finally and i wasn't even that mean to them but <laughs> just no. hostesses and waiters and waitresses there is no reason servers, at yeah. servers yeah that's better to be rude to them like they're doing their job they're not yeah. in control of how fast Why everyone else in that restaurant so is eating special. what makes you think yeah. literally i told Kristen we're sitting at the table and uh, we sat down we our waitress came over got us our water or whatever yeah and she was so nice and i looked at Kristen and i was like i would get in a fist fight for her like <laughs> like i will yeah because they were sat right next to us after we had witnessed them berating the hostess and then they were like still waiting on their food it was yeah. slow because it's labor day it's cracker barrel they're yeah. the only place in town open and they were just like sassy and they got nicer yeah. we were like very nice like loudly nice to our waitress to kind of make a point um which i love to do i was like you're amazing don't worry about us you take your time i know how busy you are in here Absolutely. it's a holiday you know yeah <laughs> I was like, you're incredible. I'm in love with you. <laughs> and so I think right the table got ne next to us got a little nicer and they yeah. got their food. But That's they true. were staring at me knitting and I just wanted to stab them with my knitting needles. I, was, I feel like that all the time though. Like yeah. if I see a person who works in the service industry being bullied, yeah. I want to wreak havoc. Like I want to cause a scene on their behalf. Like, Runs out. Like with, like I'm on the waitstaff side 100% of the time no matter what. And I will fight you if I see you being rude to a server. And it just made me heated. I we were literally like, talking about it outside. Like, I literally could never. Never. Like, we'd be like, oh, you spit in my food. Thank you. I probably thank deserved you much. it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how blessed I am to share your DNA. Yeah, thank you so much. My food takes two better. hours. Well, it must yeah. be delicious. Yeah. You put in love. It is amazing. Thank Made you. Made with love. Mm -hmm. It is not your fault. This isn't what I ordered. Oh, I love this, though. It's so good. Tips 200%. Yeah. Every <laughs> people do it how do you know. think you're that literally better than a person mm -hmm. just because they're at work and you're there I didn't to know purchase it's just a that thing. she was just like so impatient it was crazy icky like just be patient have a little or patience. stay home if you can't be patient stay home like yeah. ugh. it was icky it made me mad but things like that always make me mad i think that is Lindsay think, texting me. Yeah. Um, she texting. We are about to go show. to my house to have burgers Cook filled by my mother, yeah. and all of my nieces and nephews will be there, <gasps> and we're gonna yes. knit because we have to plan our knitting for the month. Yes, we're gonna plan the sweaters. I'm only gonna bring that sweater. To check my purse before we leave here. For <laughs> socks, <laughs> knife, gun, sweater. <laughs> you don't have to check it. my purse for that. <laughs> Nice, good <laughs> sweater. That's it. That's all you get to bring. And my phone. <laughs> okay, you get a phone. That's it. Probably my keys. My coffee. Sure. Um. <laughs> anyway. Um. What else were we gonna say? Is that all we were gonna say? My dog's having surgery tomorrow. Um. We I've like briefly talked about it a little bit. She has an insulinoma on her pancreas. Um. Caught it caused the Caesar Caesar the Caesar salad she ate mm -hmm. a few months ago it came from her insulinoma. The whole pack of bread she <laughs> ate. The seizure my dog mm -hmm. had um like two months ago now, six weeks or something like that. Um, which is crazy. Anyway, she's having surgery to have that removed tomorrow. She'll be in the hospital for like two or three days, depending on how her blood sugar levels come out after the surgery, because her pancreas has to relearn how to regulate her blood sugar on its own without this tumor messing everything up so pr big prayers for her um i'm anxious but i have to drop her off really early in the morning in little rock so i have to leave conway by seven that's very early that's early so that's going on in my life um a friend of mine is having surgery on tuesday as well i had lunch with her after her yesterday and she was telling me she was having surgery also um, to have something cancerous removed. And I told her, I was like, oh, you and my dog are having surgery for cancer on the same day. And her husband said, yep, you bitches got to stick together. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing ever. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's that. What else has happened? Nothing. I think we can go. Unless you have anything. I have nothing. We started rambling towards the end there. Yeah. Okay. 
don't forget to post about your Weisha Needles yarn and and have a good day yes a great day have a have the best day and you've ever be had be nice to servers yeah or and, i'll beat you up and us and each other and yeah. we love you okay bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> are we crooked i think we are definitely it and like it's like all me no you we said no Kristen this episode yeah that's good <laughs> kick me out <laughs> <laughs> on a day of this world of this world. Surprise me. Mad, get mad. I need lonely too. Hey now. I bought my Stephen West yarn. Cause I'm alive. Like $36 <laughs> shawl. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs>